Winter meetings rolling on here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, mm -hmm. and it is a joy to be joined by Paul Molitor and Jack Morris, two guys that really go back a long way in Minnesota, or I should yeah, say, I guess, St. Paul, right, is really where, yeah. where it all started for you guys. Um, just talk about that a little for us, Paul, and the fact that the, how long you've known each other and what this week's been like for you as he's editing. Yeah, uh, um, well, you know, chance here uh, with the audience to just congratulate my good friend Jack on uh, what I felt was uh, news that took too long to get here, but it's in the books and it's official, and I couldn't be more happy. Um, you know, at my age, my recollection isn't great as far as when we first played against each other. I have yeah. been asked that, and I, and I think back to the days. Uh, you know, Jack was at uh, Highland Park High School, and I was at a, a Cretan High School in St. Paul, and we played some games, uh, particularly the Legion games. That's Legion, what I remember yeah. the most. That's where it kind of started. Yeah. And, and, and he outpitched me most of the time. I, I'll give him that. So It's fair to say he you outhit it. He uh, yeah. Not that much, but he pitched. Yeah, he outhit out. me for sure <laughs> yeah. and outran me. But I would have tried really hard to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it was funny because, you know, Jack obviously was the reputation of like, you know, you, everybody knew when, when you were going to face Jack Morris, you know, back then. And it was it was something special. I never saw anybody at that level through that hard, could do things with the baseball. He didn't throw it over as much no. back then. No, you know, so you never really got too comfortable uh, because, the, you know, I think you went, after you went away, to be, went away to college and I saw you in Detroit the next time, things had changed yeah. as far as that. But, A little bit. Uh, good memories, good competition. How about that fact that there's all that and then you get to the majors and you're seeing each other again and now you're still you well, still have this relationship yeah. the great part is we finally got to be teammates the bad news was i didn't have a very good year that year got hurt but uh, yeah. paul had a phenomenal year yeah. was our mvp and we won a world championship and uh, you know i was lucky enough for the three guys from st paul to play one year in toronto we were all teammates at least one year together which yeah. is cool uh, and dave was great in 92 and paul was sure. great in 93 so that was special for me because we had to compete against yeah. each other for all of our careers. What was it like for you to see those two go, you know, go into the Hall of Fame? Uh, no question in my mind where they belonged, and yeah. uh, I was happy for them and yeah. still am, and uh, just proud. It makes me proud now that I can join the group. It's, it's just yeah. so cool. Yeah, you know, um, I, I think Jack and, you know, the, the, the Hall of Fame members, the living members, it, it's such a humble group. I think we all kind of get it. Um, they're, they're as good of people as they were baseball players. But I, I think, you know, there are some things you take pride in. I think St. Paul is not particularly known as a baseball hotbed, right? I mean, we, we've had some players come out of Minnesota and this and that in the past. Joe Maurer, another guy from St. Paul right now. But um, the 85 All-Star game was held at the Metrodome. And Jack and uh, Dave and myself were on that All-Star team. And I always thought that was, for me, that was special. We had three yeah. guys at an all-star game um, representing the American League and, and now to have us all end up in Cooperstown. Three guys from the same generation grew up probably in about a three-mile circumference. Yeah, yeah one far. And then and we're all kind of reunited in Cooperstown. It, it's, it's a good story. Did any of you play hockey? <laughs> My hockey story is uh, I skated when I was a kid. We had yeah. a walk to the playgrounds, yeah. you know, the Edge, Edgecombe Playground. Paul knows where it is. And uh, I remember two or three times walking down there skating and having some fun and uh, one time, by the time we got there, it was so cold that I could barely put on my <laughs> skates. And I think I skated for two minutes and went in the warming house, went back out, skated some more, and we had a walk home. And my feet were froze solid, <laughs> and I was crying all the way home. I was about eight, nine years old, and I was crying all the way home because my feet hurt so bad. And I, I decided right then and there, I'm not a hockey guy. I'm not yeah. tough enough for that. But we had no indoor ice in those days. It was yeah. all outside. Yeah, and I never played competitive hockey on a team, but I skated a lot. I, you know, when you got out in, in the wintertime, you know, everybody, there's, there's five rinks on your block. Everybody <laughs> yeah. would flood the backyards, and they'd, you know, they'd put the lights up, and you'd skate at night. So we did a lot of, you know, messing around with hockey, but I, but I never really stayed with that. Yeah. Jack and I, somewhere along the way, both switched switch to basketball as our wintertime sport, a little more comfortable in the gym. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Twins, the other night, uh, there's a video on MLB.com that followed Jack yeah. around on Monday and, and Sunday night. And I know you guys had a little, the team, the organization got together here sure. at the resort and welcomed him in and had a little toast. Just talk about that and that a moment to get to see each other for the first time. Yeah, since the well, 
you know, I, I think uh, I've been holding on to the hope that Jack was going to get his uh, get his due somewhere along the way. And, uh, you know, and Alan Trammell I'll just mentioned, of course, yeah, good friends with Jack. But I, Trammell and I have been good friends since we lived close by in San Diego for a long time. But so I'm, I'm just glued into the announcement. You know, I know a lot of guys on the committee, you know, my buddies, you know, Robin and and Rod, Rod Carew and George. And, you know, it was I said, you know, this is a really good group to increase what I thought. The guys you played against, guys that knew you and respected you. So I, I was watching the announcement, and I was just so elated uh, with the news. And it was, the tough part was there are other guys on the ballot that I'm pulling for, too. Sure. But so Jack kind of went through his media thing, and then, you know, we kind of planned if it went his way that we were going to try to have a little bit of a small organizational toast with the people that were around, and it worked out where Jack was able to come up and uh, – uh, join us and warm you know, fuzzy, give, warm give, fuzzy. Give, give, guy, give, give him a big a class, hug. Yeah, this guy's give a class a act. He presented me a bottle and uh, we all share. It was wonderful. It yeah. was, uh, I'll never forget it. It was so cool. We all know Jack is the tough guy pitcher, but I think we've seen over this week that uh, he's got that softer side too that comes out every once in a while. There's no doubt, you know, on the mound, we all know what he's like, but I, I, I think, you know, Jack's uh, transparency of emotion, um, I think that's what makes the hall special. Back to Minnesota and all that. You talked about it in your Hall of Fame speech um, growing up there. Yeah. I assume that's going to be part of yours as well. I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I might just say thank you. <laughs> Do the Mazeroski version. Yeah. Uh, the Twins right now, obviously um, a great season. Yeah. Getting back to the postseason. Yeah. Make a move today. We find out Michael sure. Pineda um, coming off Tommy John surgery. He's probably not going to pitch, I would think, in 28. But it seems like it's one of those smart moves yeah. that we could look back on uh, in 2019 and think, oh, yeah, remember at the winter meetings when sure. that happened? Well, I think everyone's aware of the, the high-end talent that this kid has. And unfortunately, the LB issues and the Tommy John, and he's very unlikely he'll pitch at all this year. Um, I guess you could say there's an outside chance that the end of the year he might be available to do something but our goal is to get him ready for 2019 and hopefully come back healthy and hungry and ready to contribute to that version of the Minnesota Twins but um, with that being said our year was fun it was exciting it was great to see our young players begin to figure some things out um, but you know as Jack and I know you, you never assume that the next step is guaranteed, and we're going to have to come back as hungry as ever, starting with day one of spring training and, and try to find our way back into a competitive situation by, by the postseason. Well, I, Paul, I, I publicly can say congratulations, American League Manager yeah. of the Year. You deserved it. Uh, you've got such a good young group of guys. And when you hear the guys come out and say, we want him here, you know, he, he didn't have yeah. a contract, and yeah. here he wins Manager of the Year. And they were supportive of him. That shows that things are working and going in the right yeah. direction because we played in a different generation, different mindset, and it's a tough thing to cross over to this generation, but nobody's done it better. Yeah, well, thanks, Jack. And, you know, um, it means a lot when your players step up for you. Absolutely. And, um, you know, you don't, you don't manage for that, but it, it's great to have your player support. You know, I'm getting older. Jack's getting older. The gap's wider between me and the young players, but somehow you try to find a way to stay connected, and I think that's part of the challenge of the job. So, Great stuff, and I'm sure yeah. we'll, we'll see you in Cooperstown this summer on this I, I got weekend. I got a hall pass to go, so I'll be able to <laughs> be there. I'm looking forward to it. I appreciate right. it. Thanks, Paul. All right.